Okay, ladies and gentlemen, greetings, everybody. It is the world's first and only dark skinned activist, Rashida Strober, with some announcements here to make. Um, I know that this has uh, started a little bit earlier than what I anticipated, but I've got some news for you guys that were that wanted to um, watch this particular live tonight. So before it got too late, I wanted to come on here and give you guys the updated news about this particular live. Before I get started, I want to invite everybody out to my play um, that's going to take place on June 26, which is a Friday at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can watch it from home through pay-per-view live stream at 7.30 p.m. Um, you can click that buy now button at my website, darkskinactivist.com and get your tickets. If you happen to be in Atlanta where I'm going to be actually filming it live and performing live, you can come on out and go to my website, darkskinactivist.com, click the buy now button and buy tickets. All the information in terms of the address, the time is all there. So you have your choice of watching it from home or coming out live and in person to the Atlanta venue. Once again, the website is darkskinactivist.com. Also, make sure you go and make a donation to my cash app. My cash app is dollar sign Rashida Lala. Once again, that's dollar sign Rashida Lala. And um, the money goes towards helping me to produce my dark skin show on the Dark Skin Activist Tour. And the play is called A Dark Skin Woman's Revenge, uh, created by the world's first and only dark skin activist, Rashida Strober. Um, I created Dark Skin Activism, which is the first platform in history to fight for the eradication of darkism, what I call darkism, what I coined as darkism, also colorism. It was created in 1998. I uh, worked for years to build the platform. Social media came along. I brought it to the uh, social media masses in 2009 and have been going strong ever since, even though there's been some hurdles in the way, but I'm still here making waves. And so in the spirit of dark skin activism, I need to announce to everybody, make sure y'all get this part now. This is very important. I'm going to redirect you guys to listen to this live, the topic of this live uh, to Sonetta Studios on YouTube. We will not be doing the live here at the 7 p.m. on my channel. We have been asked to bring it to Sinetta Studios. All you need to do is go to your YouTube and type in, so for example, this is YouTube. This is YouTube. Type in Sinetta Studios. That's all you need to do. If you go to YouTube and type in Sinetta uh, Studios, you will catch the live. My special guest is Kevin Dorable, King Kevin Dorable. Now, as a lot of you know, as the dark skin activist, I've created a new paradigm, a new way of thinking about how dark skinned people are treated. I've applied the concept of darkism that I created and also wrote a book of the same title to define the struggle specifically that dark skinned people face in all parts of the world where there are dark skinned people. Now, those of you that have followed me, you know that I do hold a master's degree from the University of South Florida in political science. And while at the University of South Florida, I wrote my graduate thesis on the dark skinned people of Sierra Leone and continue to develop that. So that's one area of the world where I applied the concept of darkism that I created to the dark skinned people of the world. So in continuing with that theme, that paradigm, dark skin activism. Tonight, I focus on Haiti's darkism and I'm going to be bringing on on Sonetta Studios. This is where we're going to do the live at. My very distinguished guest, Kevin Dorable. Let's go to Kevin Dorable. And some of you guys know who he is. Kevin Dorable, King Kevin Dorable, who's of Haitian descent. He's a three-time author. Um, the winner, the, his books include The Winner in the Mirror, the Courage to Believe, Seven Kings, I'm sorry, Seven Types of Queen's King's Desire, and that's him right there. 
Uh, he's also a filmmaker, an activist, and a powerhouse speaker. Now, he's going to be dropping knowledge of darkism in Haiti tonight on Sarnetta Studios. And we're going live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, and this is this has always been my goal. I know everybody says, well, Rashida, you you're you're narcissistic, you're arrogant. You don't, you don't, you don't uh every, anybody could talk about uh what they've been through as dark skinned people. But what I need people to respect and understand is that I actually created the paradigm, the framework of darkism. That wasn't created before me. There was colorism, there was racism. I wanted to change the trajectory and the framework to darkism because I feel that darkism deals with what dark skinned people go through on a global level in a more precise fashion. And that's why I created the phrase darkism, the word darkism, and wrote the book darkism. So y'all got to respect it. And what I'm doing is I am reaching out and people also who, uh, who have uh, came into contact with my book darkism and my theory of darkism, they contacted me as well and we are uniting. Now I want to say shout out to Sonetta, Sonetta because I actually appeared on Sonetta twice, uh, uh, once in 2017, actually twice in 2017, where I gave lectures on my theory of darkism. This is not my first rodeo on Sonetta uh, TV. That's not what it is. I've already been on there giving lectures on darkism. And I did a debate with Sunny Day on darkism uh, a couple of years ago, about three years ago. So this ain't my first rodeo. I've been reaching out to people because this is what I do. What scholars do, what researchers do is we look for gaps in the, the literature, the research, and we try to fill those gaps. And that is what I did. Looked at and studied the colorism scholarly literature. And I saw that there was not an extensive focus on dark skinned people. And then I created the concept, the new paradigm of darkism. Darkism is the new paradigm created by myself, Rashida Strober. So I want y'all to come over tonight and I want y'all to listen to our brother, King Kevin Dorable, who's of Haitian descent. And y'all, again, y'all gotta understand, I've been a dark skin activist. I've been applying darkism, the theory of darkism to uh, dark skin countries around the world, starting with Sierra Leone. And that is in my graduate thesis at the University of South Florida. You guys can go Google that and read it. It's there. Um, so this is nothing new for me. I'm honored to have the brother King Kevin Dorable on tonight because he's so knowledgeable and I enjoy, I know I talk a lot, but I love to listen to this man speak on uh, 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 an array of different topics. So y'all, y'all, uh, y'all at the King's Court, as you can see, it says the King's Court, Kevin Dorable. I love hearing this brother speak. So you guys come on over. This is going to be a short one because I'm, you know, I'm getting ready to get prepared. I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that this live is, it was originally scheduled for my channel, but we have been asked to come over to Sonetta Studios and to uh, present this information to you guys. So I want you to come over to Sonetta Studios and join me and our distinguished guest, King Kevin Dorable. And make sure y'all go to his website kevindorable.com okay kevindorable.com beauty and brains girls you said you would love haiti i already do love haiti i love dark skinned people i love black people i love people from and i and i have such a profound respect for uh haiti because haiti is truly the the home of the first black republic how could you not respect that Haiti did it before the black people in the United States, okay? Haiti obtained uh, freedom from slavery before America did, okay? Haiti set the framework. You, you. That's why I'm so happy to have his brother on here because I respect it so much, all right, y'all? I love Haiti. I love black people. But again, let me tell you something. Y'all better understand one thing about Haiti. We all, as black people around the world, owe Haiti a debt of gratitude. And uh, the, our brother King Kevin Dorable is going to tell us about uh, Toussaint Lavator. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. 
who who is the who was the premier. Now there was others before him, but he was the premier general that led the Haitians to freedom. And of course, we got Dessalines. We can't forget about him. We're gonna talk about this tonight. So yes, beauty and brain, shout out to you. You know what it is. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I hope you're over there. I'm looking forward to it. Shout out to you to your homeland. I have a profound respect for my brothers and sisters all around the globe. Don't ever get it twisted. Yeah, I talk about people copying me, but don't you ever get it twisted. I love black dark skinned people because I recognize that we have been beat down and brutalized the most. And I'm, that's why I created darkism to fight against it. And if any of the dark skinned sisters, if y'all ever wanna come up on my platform, I've always invited y'all, let's go. Y'all know how to contact me, go to darkskinactivist.com. But tonight it's all about our brother, King Kevin Dorable, King's Court, King Kevin Dorable. I can't wait for him to speak on it, okay? I cannot wait. Um, I can't. I'm sorry, Sam. I am. You said, Rashida, can we change the event to a place that's not called <laughs> white label? That's darkism. <laughs> well, I that's I listen. I didn't name the venue. OK, that's the name. I know it's like a the irony, huh? The darkism irony. All right, y'all. I got to get out of here because we getting prepped. We getting ready to go. And um, remember, ladies and gentlemen, come on over to go go to YouTube and simply type in Sonetta Studios. And it should pop up on that channel as we go live. And I'm also I'm probably going to end up uploading the final um, video once we once we're done to my channel. So those of you that don't catch it will catch it. But I want y'all to hear it tonight out of our Haitian brother's mouth. He is a descendant of Haiti, uh, one of the greatest places in the world with dark skinned people that I respect so much. And we need to be doing everything that we could do to help our brothers and sisters over in Haiti because they gave so much to us. And I, I love, I love y'all. King Kevin Dorable, you are amazing and you are awesome. And I, y'all, like I said, make sure y'all go to uh, King Kevin Dorable's website, kevindorable.com. Once again, kevindorable.com and get his books. The Courage to Believe is fire. It's absolutely, his story is amazing. He gonna tell his story tonight, y'all. I, listen, just 7 p.m. All right, I'm out. The world's first and only dark skin activist. I'm out.